Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Nelly here from Girl Next Door and I hope you're having an amazing day. So as you can tell from today's title, I'm going to DIY a floating shelf which is right back there. And if you did watch me DIYing this shelf over here, I'll put the link somewhere up here. I'm extremely happy today because I finally hacked the rustic effect on wood and I can't wait for you guys to see it. Plus, I think you're going to love it. And I can't think of a simpler way to DIY a floating shelf. So without draining your enthusiasm levels, let's jump right into it. Start by sanding wood. Then mark the place you're going to mount the shelves. Now because my wall is black, I used tape, but you can also use a pencil. Mark the points you're going to drill. Now since most walls in Kenya are stone walls, I just eyeballed the measurements. But in the case that you're mounting the shelves on a dry wall, I made some explanations right after this. The type of holes I'm drilling are called pocket holes and this is achieved by slanting the drill in a 45 degree angle. I would recommend to use 2.5 inch screws and no shorter as this gives a good amount of screw extending beyond the wood. After applying the clear varnish, it didn't look as good as I thought it would. So a friend gave me this idea of burning wood so as to achieve the rustic effect. Now since we both don't own the machine used for that, the best idea is to go to the welders at your estate. And then the thing is, most of them don't really know that wood can be burned. So it's your responsibility to understand how that works, then explain it to them. And as usual, Sis came through and recorded two ways to do that. One. If you want the wood to be too dark, the gas well should be near the wood. 2. If you want your wood to be lighter, the gas well should be a little further from the wood, something like 15 cm away. Now this only costed me a hundred bob. After all that is done, use sandpaper to sand the excess charged parts of the wood plus also to smoothen it up. Then apply clear varnish to seal the wood as it will give it a clean and fresh look.
I use two pieces of wood and I think this layout is great but if you have the wall space you can experiment and see what works best for you. Say use three pieces of wood or also work on a different layout. Now if you enjoyed today's content be sure to tell me down below. Also don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll get back to you right back here next week. Bye!